Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, February 16th, 2021 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. Hello. And our energy mantra for today is, I value the process of coming back to my vision again and again and again. And that's what we really want to practice is, okay, we get pulled out, we get distracted, but like, what's the goal? What's the vision? What's that vibration? And the continual coming back, the continual return to that, even, even through challenging energies. So we are in the process of wrapping up Aquarius, Sun and Aquarius. On Thursday, it will shift into Pisces. So we got those, you know, final, final degrees down. And we're also building into this Saturn Uranus square. And my feeling is with the Saturn Uranus square, this is one of the major processes of 2021. Um, anytime we have squares, there is resistance and there's major lessons there for all of us. Now, of course, this, you know, goes back to what I've been saying about these Taurus Aquarius squares where um, there is, you know, slow and steady wins the race, you know, the process of change, but also taking it step by step by step. Now, it, oh my God, the cards I pulled, these, these three in the middle are so aligned the adventure card the rebirth card the fool card all of those representing like stepping into some level of newness and i really do think the process of saturn squaring uranus is a big part of this newness this is so many layers and levels that we're going to be working newness <laughs> newness through so you can always look in your chart like where is taurus where is aquarius what are those lessons for you you can always look at that but on, on a grander, larger scale, this has to do with like what we value, what, what things are worth, our financial and money systems, um, looking towards the future, looking towards Earth as a community, and trying to get us to synergize, you know? So we have that going on. Yet at the same time, I feel like one of the challenging energies in this is that there are so many people like resisting the the um the change and fearing it and so the fear levels kind of feel like they're spiking a little bit right now and so our work as individuals is to keep connecting to our personal vision to our personal vibration and not not let the fears sink us so be aware of that in the background going on today we start the day and again this this even collides with that we have Moon finishing up in Aries through the day. Um, and the first connection is a square with Pluto. Hooray. <laughs> so again, I think a lot of times when we fear, feel like we're out of control, we don't have control, we can feel powerless. And so notice that. And again, our response to feeling powerless or feeling like we don't have any control can be kind of uh, knee-jerk reaction kind of energy. So be very aware of that, that that may be up in the morning. The nice thing about the moon, though, is that it shifts rather fast. So that's kind of good. Uh, we will then have the sun and the moon connecting later. Much better connection. Um, and this is how can you take those actions, aligned actions, towards your goals. So again, here we have, here we have these aligned energies. And just realizing taking these aligned actions does create new pathways. Uh, we then have the moon go void, of course, for a few hours, and the moon will shift into Taurus at 7, 12 p.m. Now, this moon in Taurus is setting us up for so many squares incoming. So the next few days over this week is definitely going to have some strong resistance energy. Now, what we need to be aware of, have the guidance card in reverse. So with this resistance energy coming up really take time to pay attention to higher guidance your higher guidance your higher self your team because they're there but they're like you're not listening you're feeling kind of impulsive i also love that i have the hermit card right there with the guidance card the hermit card taking some time to get in your own energy field rather than being out in like I said, in the fear and in those other energies that will be, that are spiking and coming up at this time. 
Moon in Taurus reminds us to focus on that which is important. Focus on that which we value. I say this quote all the time. I can never remember who it is by. I need to like memorize that. But it's basically like people in the world are going to, you know, take your hand and be like, this is important and this is important and this is important. And this is a sign for you to take your hand back and put it on your heart. I know you can't see it right now, but be like this, this is important. Do remember that through Taurus energy. So that is it for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, Mimi Clark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and stay curious. Namaste.